This has been an interesting time for me. A year ago, I was on vacation in Trinidad with my best friends, Lauren, Camille, and Sophie. They were there helping me get over a bad breakup. Now, things have changed. I've had to downsize my real estate company, but I've met the man of my dreams, and I'm sporting some new jewelry. That's right, a sister's getting married. Bam! You needed me? Oh, yes. Can you make copies of everything in this file and uh, send it over to the agent? You got it. Great. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't work too hard next week while I'm off getting married. Oh, so everything is finalized. Yeah, you know, we're having a small, simple ceremony, and there wasn't really much to plan. Once we decided it was Puerto Rico, we just picked a packet. I always thought you'd have a big, fancy wedding with lots of people. Yeah, you know what? Maybe when I was younger. But Garrett's really not into that kind of stuff. Plus, weddings can be expensive, and there's no reason to uh, spend all that money. I never heard you care about the cost of anything. Yeah, well, <laughs> things are different. Garrett and I are building our dream home we're adopting, so it's all about savings. Plus, my man's a stickler. <sighs> I always knew I liked him. <laughs> Wow. That's impressive. Hey, handsome. Hey. I just thought I'd come by because I know I wouldn't see you till tomorrow. Ah. Mm, that's right. You're hanging out with the boys tonight? I am. You should admit it's a bachelor party. It's <laughs> not. It's, it's not. Yeah, it it's is. not a bachelor party. I'm telling you, it's just me hanging with the fellas because I know they're not going to be at the wedding. That's it. No strippers, no nonsense. There better not be any strippers. Uh, I heard from the adoption agency. Oh, you did? Yeah, and she said we should hear something right after the wedding. <laughs> wow. We're really going to have a baby. Yeah. It's been such a long process. I mean, we're so close, nothing is going to ruin it. No, nothing at all. And we're going to buckle down and start planning. And you have a $20,000 credit card bill? Garrett, I am paying this off. Wow, well, you know the new cards we got. I'll clearly be handling that account. Here we go. Uh, babe, you really need to do a better job budgeting. I mean, it's not just you anymore, you know? And me being on a teacher's salary, I, I can't... I can't do this. I can't afford it. I know. And you can't keep spending thousands of dollars on things like this. It's not... Baby, this was a birthday present to myself. But I thought the trip to South Beach was the birthday present to yourself. Well, yes. But I couldn't go to South Beach with an old bag. Hey. Come here. No more spending. Okay? Okay. Well, at least the wedding and the honeymoon are already paid for. So the bills, I will take care of my own bills. No, no, no. We will take care of our oh. bills. Okay, it's us now. This is a team sport. All right, can we stop talking about money? It's depressing. Okay. Don't be depressed. You know, I don't care about any of these elaborate things. I just want to make sure that your life is filled with smiles and laughter <laughs> and love. I hope that's enough. It's more than enough. I've had a lifetime of fabulous things. But what I really want is real love. And now that I have you, I've got it going on. <laughs> yeah, Lola goes through at least ten onesies a day, and I know you probably don't have enough. So I'm gonna drop off another diaper bag, okay? Yeah, yeah. I got you. You you are aware that I have watched our daughter before, right? And she also has a dry spot at the top of her head. She has cradle cap. I put some ointment in her back for that. Do not put Vaseline on her head. Oh, look, we're good. Are you writing this down? It's important. Everything's cool. This reminds me of when Jackson was little. He'd write me a list that was a mile long. Right, and it took you until he was 10 years old to get the hang of it. Oh, I can't believe he's driving. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Remember the time we ran out of pampers? 
and you put bounty on him. Look, the, the package said they was highly absorbent. <laughs> oh my God, you're so crazy. Come on, don't you miss us. <laughs> oh, I do. I don't. No, I don't. I do not miss us, you know? Well, I miss us. I do. I miss you, Sophie. I know I made some mistakes, but I think we need to... No, I'm back. Mama says bye. Hey, Denise, did you get those prints for me? Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Teresa, so my next two articles are in editing, and my next pitch is in your inbox. You know, for a freelance, you are really making a name for yourself. Well, thank you. You know, this whole thing is so surreal to me. I never imagined that my little blog would turn into a full-on writing career. And it's very fulfilling. So thank you. You earned it. Here. What's this? Your first four-page spread. We loved your wedding pitch. Ace this, and I'll push you as our next hire. Really? I would love a shot as a full-time writer. Well, let's see what you can do. In the meantime, blog, promote the magazine, be visible. Okay. The more popular you are, the more people look forward to reading your stuff, and we love our writers to have a following. You got it. Thank you. And, and have a good weekend. You too. Have fun next week. I will. Come back with some good stuff. Oh, I will. seen all my girls in a while, so we decided to get together and catch up before we head down to Puerto Rico in a few days for my wedding. I did mention that I was getting married, right? Bam! <laughs> so, Garrett is having his bachelor party tonight. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? Men are so prehistoric. I mean, no, that is sad, actually. I know. I never understood the point of partying with naked people before you get married. That's because you've never been married, trust me. You will appreciate it later. Who knew I thought things were good with you and Calvin? Oh no, things are great with me and Calvin. Especially since I found my calling. You know, I think it's really important that you find something that you're passionate about. This writing thing for me, I think this is it. I completely agree. That's why I knew that I had to take my yoga and my meditation to the next level. And I would like to ask you about that. Why would you go halfway around the world to eat and pray? We do that at my house every night. Come on through. <laughs> we'll pray with you. You know what? People mock what they do not understand. That is right. And I'm glad you took the time to focus on you. Thank you. You know, I have to say, ladies, though, I have had this, um, this laser-like clarity, you know, with no meat and no alcohol and no sex. No, no sex. sex. Yes, Lauren is celibate. What? Yes, and I'm not going to do it again until I meet somebody that I really feel like I could be in a commitment with. Even if it takes a long time? You know what? Actually, I was celibate for a couple months. Yeah, but you were married. Yeah, and that's called holding out. <laughs> <laughs> Got me what I needed. Okay. <laughs> Wait, but hold on. You were being selfish. I am on a journey. Oh, and do you feel complete? Do you feel anything anymore down there? <sighs> you hush. <laughs> no, it's like um, mm, a jug fills up drop by drop. What'd she say? Well, I think it's beautiful. I have never seen you more peaceful and mm -hmm. calm. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I love it. Speaking of which, you are glowing. Yes. Well, why do you know any better? I think somebody's getting a little something. Sub. No. <laughs> no, the only thing I'm getting is lack of sleep. Yeah. Vicky's right. You look amazing. I think it's freedom from an oppressive relationship. I think you could be pregnant. What? No way! What are you talking about? Don't ever say that again. Change the subject. What movies are out? Okay. I have a question. Is it weird that I'm having trouble writing my vows? Oh my God, no! 
Do you want me to write them for you? No. no. Wow. Really? Mm. So supportive, guys. Thanks. Why are you having trouble writing them down? I don't know. I mean, I want them to be good, you know? Garrett is so romantic and genuine that his are going to be perfect. Vicky, it's not a competition. Yeah. Uh, hello, it's me you're talking about. Everything is competition. Oh, hey, guys, I have a surprise announcement to make. <gasps> you're pregnant. Hell no. <laughs> so, every month, the writers over at Uptown Magazine pitch our editors a special story or whatever. So this month, I pitched a happily ever after story, and they absolutely loved it! Oh, that's great. Yes, thank you. So, Vicky, we are going to feature your wedding in a four-page spread in our August edition. Oh, my God! This is it. We are getting married overlooking the ocean at sunset. Just us and nature. I was a little worried about it at first, but it's going to be nice, isn't it? Well, now, this is what love is supposed to look like, you know? Pure, unfiltered, exactly the way nature intended. No, it's absolutely beautiful. Well, I'm not going to say anything bad about it. It's just very rocky. It's a national landmark community. His parents got married here. I mean, no, listen, we can totally make it work. I mean, I just thought you might have something a little more different. That's all. But no biggie. Come on, let's go to the bar. Come on, come on. Pictures are going to be great at sunset. Do not worry about the deal. Seriously, this is beautiful. because it will make you bloated and that won't be good for pictures, so no. No, and stop interrupting me. I don't want to have a hangover in case the adoption agency calls tomorrow. No. You know how particular they can be. Well, I'm not drinking either, so let me get you back. Drinks for me and Sophie. <laughs> You realize that we are going to have to rein Camille in on this whole wedding spread, right? Because you know how controlling and bossy she can be. Right. Okay, what's up? I just told you what's up. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to... Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Listen, I just need to check on the baby. All right. Okay, I got you. You coming? Oh, no. I'm behind you. All right. Okay, good boy. Thank you. I'll be right there. Gorgeous. <sighs> what time is it? Nine. Oh, I have to meet that wedding host upstairs in the terrace at ten. A wedding host? Yeah, it's like this free concierge that the hotel sets up that they send somebody to make sure everything runs smoothly. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, 
Are you okay? Well, the red. What are you, blind or something? Excuse me, didn't you see the stop sign? Yeah, the stop sign is for you, not for me. Sophia Begaro, the, the guest, Begaria, the... How do you say? You know who I'm talking about. Que pantalones arrogantes americanos. Ustedes vienen aquí y piensan que pueden mandar simplemente porque son turistas, claro. Y para colmo, te metes en el mismo medio y saliste de la mano. Okay, but we need to be upstairs in 30 minutes. Go take a shower or something. Good idea. I'm gonna do that. She's a boss. <laughs> Camille, I just feel like I should have a few more options. Please do this for me. Okay, I'll get on it. Yay. Put some footage of me. I need some for my social media How campaign. Do you do it. Where's the camera part? Right here. Hi. Ah. <gasps> oh, it's her! Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. You're Vicky Ho? Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Mari Nunez, your host. Oh, hi. That's the murderer. What? I don't know what you're talking about. You tried to kill me with your car. That's what I'm talking about. You're the jogger. Oh, sorry about that. Is that I'm a mess before I have my morning coffee, you know? Oh, no, girl, I'm the same way, too. I've hit a lot of people. Thank God everyone is safe, right? Yeah, everybody. We are safe. all safe. Then, girls, shall we leave? Yes, let's, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay. I can't wait to see Puerto Rico. <laughs> what? Let's go. That's it? Sophie, you're fine, okay? You know, you really ought to consider yoga. It calms you. I don't like yoga. It's boring. I need something with some movement. All right, well, can we move you behind to the car? Because while they're at the caterer, you and I have to try and find another wedding venue. What? Why? Come on, Beth. Yeah, but do you really think you still just want to go with hors d'oeuvres? I mean, we're doing a whole blurb about food. We should do dinner. How much can we say about cheese and crackers? Come on, Becky. She's right. Food is a very important part of the celebration. You should really take that into consideration. I totally agree, a hundred percent. Well, maybe we can do something a little nicer. I mean, it's not a lot of people, so the cost shouldn't be high. What are my choices? Well, we could do our traditional dishes. We could do some meat, like lamb or chicken. Or we could go with our seafood explosion. Wow, yes. Mwah, boom. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah, and maybe add a little caviar? Mmm, oh, caviar is good. I like it. Mm. Those wow. lobsters really pop in print. That's gonna look nice. Are you gonna make a rash decision just like that? Yeah. It's just food. Yeah. And drink. Oh, champagne, of course. Of course. Oh, champagne is good. Mm -hmm. Take this away. Okay. Oh, please. Here we have our higher priced items. Oh, ah, you. thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Should we put everything on the same credit card? Uh, no. Let me give you another one. Oh, okay. So now you can choose mm. from these three. Oh, much better. Lauren just sent us some new venues. Ooh. Are you changing venues too? Uh, 
Yeah, I just want a few options, you know. Which I think is smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about the groom? Is he going to be involved? Uh, well, you know, he comes on Wednesday. The wedding's on Friday. We can't wait for him. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, I do too. I'm so glad I told you to bring your wedding dress. We really need to see what it's going to look like mm -hmm. in that place, which it's going to be smashing. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, so great. <laughs> Well, yes. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not saying I didn't love the other place, but this? It's stunning. Stunning is the exact word I would use. But you did. I used it. Why don't you find your own words to use? Guys, you know, it's original. It's fresh. I really don't think you can go wrong with this. So, take some B-roll of me. Uh, you know, uh, just milling about. Okay. Oh, my God, this is amazing. What do you think, Lauren? All right, well, let's just see if it's available this Friday. Oh, let me do the talking because I know Spanish. Since when? I've been speaking. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, señorita. Ah, nos gusta usted. Está usted en Aquila. Oh, God, I have a lot of Como dijo? Está usted en Aquila. Pero ¿cómo se atreve a preguntarme algo así? ¡Grosera! ¡Atrevida! Salga de aquí, por favor. Ok. ¿Puedes decirle que queremos rentar el lugar? ¡Eso es lo que estoy diciendo! ¡Oh! ¿Eres tan bella? ¡Queremos a usted! ¡Salga de aquí! ¡Ok, ok, ok! ¡No! ¡Ah, pues! ¡Estás en alquiler! ¡Alquiler! ¡Alquiler! ¡Ok, no digas eso! ¡Alquiler! ¡Marie! Yes. I'm coming. Yes. Fuera. Can you just tell me you want to rent the place? Sure. Yes. Hola, ¿cómo está? Dígame. Permiso. Mire, buen día. Es que a estas damas les gustaría saber si este lugar está en alquiler para este fin de semana para una boda. Claro que sí. Claro que sí. Un momento, por favor. ¿eh? Claro, cómo no. Would you like She said she... She'll be back in one minute. Un momento, I know what that means. Hola, señoritas. ¿En qué puedo ayudarles? Hola. Hola. Um, hi. Um, excuse me, but do you speak English? Yes. Oh, great. Is this place by any chance available this Friday? Due to luck, we just had a cancellation. Oh, come on! I would agree with you, but it's Monday. How much at all would you need? I have to hire decorators in okay. advance. Oh, we can decorate. Oh, great. Yeah, we can do that. If you can do that, I'll make sure we have a full staff for Friday. Oh, well, it is perfect. Okay, well, I'm, I'm so excited. Aren't you guys excited? Why are you so excited? Um... Anyway, why don't uh, I'll stay here, I'll get the details, and then you go shoot some B-roll and practice your Spanish, and uh, you get your dress and look okay. fabulous over there. Okay, okay. Um, may, may I? I'm Lori. I'm Antonio. Thank you, Antonio. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So what would you like to rent this space for? Oh, a wedding. Oh, you're getting married. What, me? No, oh, no, <laughs> no, uh, Vicky, the, the tall one. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're single? Yes, yes, I am single. Me too. Oh, yeah, you're nice. <laughs> in the massive... Marie, what do you think? Personally, I love your dress. 
I love your dress too. Um, I just think that it gets lost in all this space. It's, but of course I love your dress. Oh, but this villa looks amazing in photos. Oh, beautiful. Right? Oh. Let's go inside to see if it looks better out there. Okay. <laughs> you know what, you guys? This feels right. I want it. Let's look at it. We want to be here. Don't you want to get the cost first? Well, it's not like she can't afford it. Let's book it. Come on, come on, come on. I guess we're officially changing venues, huh? <laughs> yep. And is it okay that she's making all of these decisions by herself? She's not making decisions by herself. She's making them with us, her friends. <laughs> yeah, but she's not marrying you guys. She's marrying Mr. Anderson. Well, nobody's marrying you, so why don't you just stay out of it? <laughs> Oh. Hey. Okay. I've been looking all over for you guys. What I miss? Vicky's book in the play. Nice. Yep. And Marie is nosy. You really have a problem with her, don't you? I just don't have a girl crush on her like you guys do. Well, she is just doing her job, so be nice. Whatever. You know why she can't stand Marie? You know why? Well, because she looks a lot like that chick that Carl was cheating on her with. Oh, right. It's official! <laughs> right, alright. So, what should we do now? Well, I don't think my dress fits the venue. So, there's only one obvious place to go. You are not buying a new dress, are you? <laughs> no. 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 I don't like it. No. Yeah! You know what? I have a brand new one. Shouldn't be a problem. Great. Yes, I miss you so much. No, everything's been great. I mean, I had to make a few little changes, but we'll see. Okay, we're still on budget, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm gonna put all of the house tiles on the new visa, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and order it now. Okay. All right, babe, our house is going to be so beautiful. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, hey, Lauren's here. I got to go. Okay, love you. Bye. Oh, oh, okay. Is that Garrett? Is he excited? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, you ready to go eat? Sophie went to get an umbrella. You know she hates the sun. Yeah, no, I, I changed my mind. I can't eat. I'm, I'm not hungry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Hi. Yes, it's Vicki Holmes. I need to make a transfer from my savings into my credit card. Yeah. I miss you too. Go. Let me call you back. Thank you. My weight. I don't have any problems with my weight. I don't know what you're talking about. You look great because you're bigger, your frame, you know, it's much bigger than mine. I would look ridiculous carrying that much okay, weight, but so you look great. Let's toast, girl. Oh, let's, let's get you a drink, and then we'll do a three-way toast. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Is the wedding coordinator having drinks with one of us? She's being friendly? No, she's not. No, th this is what I think. I think she's one of those girls that don't have a lot of friends, and so she's trying to infiltrate our clique. Our clique? Yes. You are jealous. I am not jealous. I'm not, no, she's a poser. A poser? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Sophie, you breaking out the 80s terms? <laughs> You're being ridiculous. No, I'm not. Yes. Uh, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Sophie, you're pretty. Hello? Hi. <laughs> I miss you too. But you don't have to call me every hour. <laughs> okay, I like it. <laughs> It would be fun if you were here, but we'll talk about that later. No, pal, it was just sex. We are not getting back together. I told you I still don't trust you. Um, I'll call you back. Hey, so um, I was going to ask you a question about Lauren. You can stop pretending. I know you hurt me. Okay, so why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want to hear what you had to say because I'm still figuring it out. Sophie, what is there to figure out? He cheated on you. He is a liar and he cannot be trusted. People change, Lauren. No, people change. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They, they don't. And now you're all open and he's playing you. He's not playing me. He's not, I'm in control this time. No, you are in love with him. And he's going to use that to his advantage. And then you're going to come crying back to us. You don't know if that's going to happen. And so what? So what if I do still care about him? He's my husband. He's your ex-husband. Sophie, you're naive. You have to move on. If he hurts you again, I'm not going to be here to pick up the pieces. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what, Sophie? Three things that cannot be hidden are the sun, the moon, and the truth. Hey, come on. Hey, what? Go back, go back. Just go back. Why are you going so fast? Slow down. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like those carnations. Um. Get one of the roses. Camille, it's my wedding. I'll pick the flowers. All right. <sighs> Camille! I'm ready to go. What? Is everything okay? No. What's going on? Let's see Well, okay. Let's look at And you know what? She basically just called me stupid, and she's demanded that I stop seeing them. You slept with Kyle? <laughs> well, I for one am ecstatic that you were getting some. But you know that's dangerous territory. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Don't stress it. Lauren has her own issues with men. You already know that, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just shocked that she's the one getting on you now, and not you getting on her. Well, I, I think she might be jealous. 
Because if I get with Kyle, then she's going to be the only single one in the group. And nobody wants to be the single one in the group. Ooh, okay. Right. Okay. You know what? Why don't you just take a break? Okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go get a real strong mojito. Good. I'll come join you. Okay. Strong mojito. Strong mojito. I will join you. Hey, how was it? Oh. Did it make your toes curl? I have a question for you. Are you seeing anybody? Because, I don't know, I just want to know. Because if we're going to be doing this thing that we're doing, whatever this thing is we're doing together, I just feel like I should be able to know if you're seeing anybody. Because, and it's not even a big deal. It's so, it's not even a big deal. It's like that. That's not a big deal. That's what this is. It's, it's not a big deal. But, you know, I just feel like I should know if you're seeing somebody. Because I see men. I see a lot of men. Of man. Right now. And I'm seeing a lot of this man. So, there you have it. So, see, that's why it's not a big deal. So, just call me back. Just call me back and let me know. This is Sophie, by the way. Sophie. Mm -hmm. me by speaking all this fluent Spanish, and then you call me fat. I mean, it just doesn't seem like something a proper wedding host would do. I just want to get off the car like that. Oh, really? Okay, we're going like that? We're going like that? Huh? This is, this, this is it? Come on! Wait, what? Marie? You just got... Mm -hmm. I know that having a new baby can be something very strange. You look tense right now. Mm. You should come and do some yoga with Lauren and me in the morning. Yoga? Wait, you're doing yoga with my Lauren? Yes, I have a master's in yoga therapy. Of course you do. We bonded. I hope you can join us. Come on. Oh. Have a wonderful day. Bye. really a beautiful place that you have. We don't own it, but my family has managed it for years, beginning with my grandmother. Well, I love it. There are so many amazing places here. I'd love to show you around. How long will you be here? I leave Saturday. Well, it's just Tuesday. We can get you into a lot of trouble in four days. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm worried about, Antonio. What good is coming to Puerto Rico if you never see it? Come on. Dinner? Dancing? Okay. I'll go to dinner. But you know what? Can you stop looking at me? You're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, why need your help? We need guests. What are you talking about? Well, we have this fabulous wedding and this huge venue with no attendees. I need like 20, 30 people, maybe even 40, just in case a few don't show. Hi. Hi. Camille, Vicky doesn't want a bunch of strangers coming to her wedding. No, 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 not strangers. Seat fillers. Well, 
she told me to do what I had to do to make everything look great, right? So I arranged a little casting call, and I need your help choosing. A casting call? Yes. Why isn't Vicky helping with all of this? Well, because she wanted to get a pedicure, please. Okay. Oh. I'll come with you. In case you need a translator. We will need a translator. Coming. Um, can I see your happy face? <laughs> your sad face? It's the same face. You say it in Spanish. Tu cara feliz, feliz, feliz. Next. Gracias. Gary. You know, Kyle, I'm only here for intel. I'm telling you, there's something up with this girl. I mean, she has a degree in yoga. Who gets a degree in yoga? Somebody with no friends. Because friends don't let friends get degrees in yoga. Let me call you back. <laughs> so nobody told me that there were uniforms. Good morning, Sophie. Morning. <laughs> Sophie, what are you doing here? You hate yoga, and I thought you were mad at me. What? <laughs> Why? My belly. <laughs> you know I live for yoga. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. I remember that. Yogi, right? <laughs> ah. I wanted to do something nice for your mom and your sister. I'm so happy you guys made it in safely. So what's on the agenda? Oh, well, remember I told you that Camille was doing a photo shoot for her magazine? Well, tonight we're going to do the interview. She's just going to ask us some questions about, you know, our relationship and the wedding. Okay, that sounds easy enough. And then I need to take you to see the new location for the wedding. New location? What happened to the fort? Babe, it was just a lot of wall and brick. It just didn't seem pretty enough for a wedding. But, look at this place. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it's really nice, but it's not what we planned, babe. Let's just stick with the form. I already paid for it. What? Why would you do that? Because I really, really liked it, and they had a cancellation, so I had to move quickly. Babe, it's still a historic place. It's just prettier. Right, but are you forgetting my parents got married at the fort? It's the whole purpose of getting the fort, the and whole purpose of bringing them out here? Yes, and I respect that, Mrs. Anderson, I really do. 
I just wanted this to be our own thing, you know? Something different. Alright, well, it is what it is. Hope I like it considering it's already paid for. Yeah. Tim, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I just landed. Yeah, yeah, we're good with the tiles. Mm, no, no, it's a new visa. What are you talking about? Okay. That's weird. Let me give you a call back. Alright. Dave? Yeah? Yeah, no, Teresa, it's gonna be an amazing shoot. For sure. Oh, you were able to get Sam to come down and shoot the wedding. Perfect. Love his work. Oh, oh yeah, I'll send you... I'll send you a few shots of the new location right now. Okay, bye-bye. Yes? Uh, look, I know we have the photo shoot tomorrow for the wedding, but isn't it bad luck for Garrett to see Vicky in her wedding dress before the wedding? Nope, Sophie, honey, people don't go by that anymore. They take their pictures before the wedding so that their guests don't have to wait. All right, well, if anything bad happens, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh. I saw my phone over here on the old Who moved my phone? Calm down. Hello. <laughs> happens again. That's what I'm scared of. Cal, let me call you back. Hi, Marie. How are you? I'm good. Great workout this morning. Yes, it was. And I'm on my way to workout number two. That's right. I'm a two-timer. <laughs> oh, no, not two-timer as in relationships. No. I would never do that. My husband did do that, and it was horrible. But well, why am I telling you that? The black it. <laughs> Sophie, I would love to stay and listen to your sad story, but I'm actually meeting with Vicky and Garrett for dinner. Uh, actually, it's not that story. You know, all love stories have their challenges. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you never seen The Notebook? Mm -hmm. Or The Titanic? Yeah. Or The Romeo and the Juliet? People died in those stories. Oh, that's not the point. <laughs> oh, wait. Did you say you were having dinner with my Vicky? Yes. Oh. They canceled. They did? No, yeah. they didn't. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Vicky's not feeling well. So she's lying down, and they actually sent me to tell you that they were canceled. Why didn't she just call me? Well, because she... Well, then I have to go and check up on her. No, you don't, because if we did that, she's fine. Good. Well, then I guess that wraps up my day early. Yep. So, what are you going to do now? Are you going to go hang with your own friends? I work a lot. I don't really have lots of friends. Just as I suspected. Well, I did. And me and my friends, we've been friends for a very long time. And it is going to take more than a pretty face and highlighted hair and blue dresses and all of this to come between us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just thought you should know. <laughs> Got it. That's all? Yeah, for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Love jokes! Nobody died in love jokes. You know, I think maybe we should get married with shades on. I can't believe I'm getting married with a black eye. Yeah, I can't believe a lot of stuff going on right now. How long are you going to be mad? Not mad. Disappointed. Same thing. You know, if you want, I can do the interview by myself. You can go back to the hotel. Is that what you want me to do? No. I want you to forgive me so we can sit here like a couple that's getting married in two days. Don't worry. I'm not going to mess up your interview. Babe, it's our interview. Oh, it's ours now. Yeah. Oh, that's convenient. Hey, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm like, Hi. Hi. How's your flight? Great. How are you? Good. 
Did Marie change her mind about joining us? I guess. All right. Well, I think we should just go ahead and dig right in. Okay. Now, I know how you two met, but I actually need to record it for my article. Actually, Garrett, I don't know your side of the story, so why don't you tell me? What made you fall for Vicky? Well, she's gorgeous. So, I'm going to keep it real, that was the first thing. And uh, I think I fell for her when she tried to sell me a house. Totally not my style, but she was so convincing. Started to make me doubt my own taste. I actually thought that this person might know me better than I know myself. She intrigued me. And he still didn't buy that house. It was out of my price range. Right. But <laughs> look at us now. I mean, we're building our own home, so it all worked out. You know, you two seem very different. Yeah, we are. But that's what makes it work. I mean, Garrett is a bit of a... He's practical. And I'm more of a dreamer. We balance each other out. And his confidence is uh, sexy. That it is. Sex confidence is very sexy. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, what are some of the things that the two of you are looking for in a uh, marriage? Honestly, I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant what do we want? You know, like a house, uh, a baby, a pet. Well, I, I was actually talking about things that are important in a marriage. Right. Um, communication. I mean, that goes without saying. Mm -hmm. It's right up there with support and trust. I just thought you meant something. No, no, no. Just okay. never. Let's just move on. So you guys are adopting. Mm -hmm. Boy or girl. A okay. girl. Okay. Well, we just really hope to have a healthy baby. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to find out pretty soon. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. So whose idea was it to adopt? Both of us. <laughs> we got that one right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's not a test. We're just talking. I know, but we finally said the same thing at the same time. Just go on. Oh, okay. So tell me about this trip. Oh, man, it was amazing. I went to six countries in three months. I did a 30-day cleanse. No meat, no dairy, no alcohol. I learned to chant. I worked on my meditation and my yoga. I could go on and on. Sounds life-changing. You know, it just, it changed my perspective on things. Like? You know, like most of the stuff we worry about, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I completely agree. I live a very simple life here. I have my mother at the villa. My family has a farm. We work hard, but we play hard. But I don't have a lot of time for complications. I just enjoy all of this beauty. I understand. I mean, the fewer the distractions, the higher the quality of life. Exactly. Antonio, you are... And this is magnificent. Then the old me, she would have been all over this. But the new me is kind of celibate. Okay, not kind of. I am, I am celibate. Really? Yeah. It's just, my last relationship was just really unhealthy. And so I'm taking a break. So when do you think you will be off this break? Tonight. <laughs> I remember when you told us about meeting Garrett. You were like, you guys, I met someone. He's really regular, but he's got something. Oh, so funny. <laughs> you called me regular? No, I didn't say regular. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Well, what I meant was, you're different from all the flashy guys that I usually date. So different. And that's a good thing. For sure. <laughs> so, uh, what were you guys first date? 
We went fishing. Garrett likes to fish. He took me on a boat and we talked for hours. Aww. I got eaten a lot by mosquitoes. Caught a few fish. Actually, I caught more than you did. If it wasn't a competition. But in all fairness, I, I really think that was the moment I knew she was the one. Aww. And now we're having a beautiful wedding. That was supposed to be a small ceremony. It is a small ceremony. Do a prayer, say Oh, Vicky, did you ever finish yours? Because my offer to write them is still on the table. Wait, you let her write your vows? No, <laughs> I specifically said no. Have you written them yet? I started. Um, what else can we talk about? Um, okay. Uh, most of our readers are women over 40 who feel they have to settle to find someone. Did you feel that way? No. I mean, not that I ever want to be alone. Uh, but I would never settle. I mean, I would rather die than not die. Can we talk about the wedding? Hello? I'm back. How was your date with Antonio? Muy bueno. It's really good. Thanks. Sophie. I'm just a jealous single girl in the group. Oh, Lauren. Lauren! Lauren! Lauren, come back! You haven't talked since we had dinner. Not sure what to say. If you're mad about the wedding stuff, just say so. I'm mad about the wedding stuff. No, don't say that. <laughs> Garrett, what's wrong with me wanting to have a fabulous wedding? All of a sudden, it's all about this fabulous wedding. Vicki, I was honest with you about what I want and what I can provide. And now it just seems like it's not enough. Every woman wants an incredible wedding, Garrett. You told me every woman wants to find a good man. And what's wrong with wanting both? Nothing. I just want to know which one is more important. You're actually asking me that. Yeah, apparently I am. I think they're really cute. I just think we should have got something a little sexier and less hippie. No, oh, I like it. I think it's pretty. And we look like a goddess. I guess. Where is Lauren? She's still upset, so she drove separately. <gasps> oh my god! I don't have any concealer! I can't take wedding photos looking like this! Somebody's gotta go to the store! I told you, the bad luck is already starting. Hit me one more time. Hi, girls! Well, now that's the dress we need to be wearing. That's cute. Are you kidding me? You think, why does she have on the same color as us? I know she does nothing. She's a bridesmaid. Stalker! <gasps> oh my god, what happened? Oh, Garrett didn't like all the changes she was making, so he socked her in the eye. Camille, why would you say that? That's not what happened. Okay, anyway, it's none of my business. Really? Everything else has been. 
Sophie hit me in the eye with her umbrella. <gasps> no. Yeah, by accident. Okay, what do you need me to do? Okay, can you get me more? Of course, please. Why did you say that Garrett hit her? What if she believes it? Why would she believe that? Garrett is sweet as pie. Vicky. Hey, babe. I just had a conversation with Antonio. Did you actually spend fifteen thousand dollars to rent this place, knowing we could have kept it at the fort? Um, I think you should just calm down. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm. And how much did you cost? Okay, babe. This is our wedding host at no cost. The fifteen thousand dollars includes the reception. Reception. Now a reception. It's too much, Vic. I'm trying really hard to be cool with all this, but you're out of control. Okay, Marie, could you please get the thanks? So come on, come clean. How much have you spent without my permission? What? You heard me. How much have you spent without my permission? Your permission. Without considering me, Vic. You know what I meant. You said exactly what you meant. Victoria, come here. Vicky, Vic. What are you looking at me like that for? You know she's wrong. Go figure her out. You know, I think I can fix this. Um, if we, so, um, okay. Yes, so. Hi. Yes, I'm with them. Things are not going that well. I really hate to say this, but I'm not sure there's going to be a wedding. No. The couple's fighting, her friends are acting very weird. Well, one in particular. I, I'm getting the feeling that all of this has like, just been for a photo shoot or something. Yeah. Yes, of course I'm going to stay in here. It's my job, but I, I really hate to see things go wrong. Okay, yes, I'll keep you posted. Okay, bye. One second, just hold your britches. Perfect. And... Okay, all right, let's go. Come on in. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings and undying grace. We are especially thankful, Lord, for this food and for the family and all who are here gathered on Vicki and Garrett's special day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Sorry I'm late. I had a flat tire. It's like if someone let the air out. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here. Oh, thank you. Hi. Uh, I would like to give a toast. Oh, great. Yes. A toast to unconditional love. The kind of love that has no limitations. The kind of love that has no bounds. But some people don't understand that kind of love. Some people want to make you feel shameful about having that kind of love. But you ignore those people. You ignore them because they have a warped concept of what unconditional love is because of their own warped experience with said unconditional love. Okay. Vicki and Gary, congratulations, guys. Conditional love. Hmm. It's a beautiful thing. But you know what it requires? It requires honesty. Between two people, people who love you, they welcome the truth. They actually appreciate transparency. They don't mistake it for personal gain. That is not unconditional love. That is BS. Cheers. But I am super ecstatic to be here covering your wedding for my magazine. I gotta tell you, Vicki, Garrett, you know, just the truth of your love, the inspiration, uh, your example has, has inspired me to 
to write a book. A book about unconditional love. <laughs> What's in this dip? Oh my God, I forgot. Why is there shellfish? You know Regina's allergic. I forgot. I just ordered a little shellfish. <laughs> you changed the entire menu? I, I have an EpiPen in my car. Of course you have. Of course you have. I just thought it would be pretty in pictures and photos of a fish. Okay, I'm done. No, baby, that's the thing. We're not honoring my parents. God only knows if you're ever going to write your vows, and now you nearly killed my sister. You guys, this isn't just about you. That's clear. Um, you guys, you want to hear this. And it's not even about us anymore. I don't know who you are. This wedding is off. Oh, Harriet. Marie is with the adoption agency. She's not a wedding host. What? Mm -hmm. She's right. I don't get it. We are very careful about the homes we place our children in. And when you first filed, you weren't engaged. And well, we have a lot of people that fake relationships, weddings, even marriages just to get children. And I know this seems like a lot, but we wanted to make sure that your relationship with Mr. Anderson was not a charade. And I'm glad we did. Because we're looking for homes with loving partners, selfless people, and a community filled with loving friends who can help you to raise your child. Unfortunately, this kind of dysfunction is certainly not a home in which we would place a child. I'll have to deny you, and I'm sorry, I, I really am. Uh, Marie, Marie, no. Marie, 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 Marie. Listen, please, please, just hear me out. Hey, any word from Vicky yet? No, she's still not picking up her cell phone and no one is answering in Garrett's room. Okay, well, she couldn't have gone far because her purse is still here. My God, there is no loyalty in this business. I just called my boss to tell her I might have to change my story. She said, well, I might have to give the opportunity to another writer. Okay, Camille. Vicky is missing and all you're worried about is your article? Well, that article was supposed to get me my dream job, Lauren. Okay. But a selfish heart can only yield sour fruit. Okay, you know what, little Buddha? She made those decisions, okay? Yes. So whatever sour... But you encouraged her the entire time. But then you to rock Hey, hey, hey! Look, you guys, it's all of our fault. All of us. We have been the worst bridesmaids ever. Listen, you pressured her into making those changes. You did, Camille. Own up to it. You did. And you... I didn't mean that stuff I said on the video. You know I would never hurt your feelings, Lauren. You know I, I mean, wouldn't. it's not about my feelings, okay? And I'm not jealous. I was hurt because you thought I was trying to further my own agenda. I'm just trying to protect you. No, I know you love me. Here, come on. Mm, we're making up. Ow. Ow. See there? Come on. Let's go find Vicky. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, wait a minute, I don't have shoes. Oh, neither do I. Hold on. <laughs> I messed up roughly. Are you, uh, poor so No. This is pointless. She could be anywhere. The wedding is today. I'm sure the wedding is on. I found her. Right there. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to wear this dress whether I'm getting married or not. Well, it doesn't matter if I'm just <sighs> fine. You know, I was having a good old time until your boyfriend showed up and ruined it. 
Have you heard from Garrett? No. But, look, I finally wrote my vows. Oh, good. So, Vicky, maybe if you just read these to him, you... He doesn't want to hear them. He doesn't want to marry me. I messed up. I'm so sorry about all You know, even though it's partially your fault, Camille, I'm not blaming you. We're both selfish and considerate adults. You are. And Marie was right. <laughs> I'm not ready to be a mom. No, no, don't say that. No, she doesn't even know you. Showing off and looking good and acting like you don't care what people think. I cannot do bad all by myself. I want to do bad with Kelsey. Oh, Vicky, honey. We love you so much. We love you, Vicky. You're okay, honey. You know what? No. No, 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 no. No, no, it's not going down like this. Ladies, what are we, a bunch of whiny babies? Or are we determined women? Determined women. So does that mean that we what? We run at the first sign of trouble? No. Do we let other people decide our future? No. No. That's right. We don't. We do not do that. I did not spend months on a mountaintop praying and eating fruits and berries and locking up my goodies so that we would all go down in a ball of flame. I did that so that today we would be victorious. Yes! 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 Okay, so listen, you two, Go find Garrett, all right? And we, we gonna deal with Miss, uh, Penelope Grubble. Yeah! I'm coming back for you. Has Garrett Anderson checked out yet? I'll check. Okay, Barry, thank you. No, ma'am, he hasn't. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Teresa. Hi. Uh, not very well, actually. The thing is, the wedding might not be happening. Oh, another wedding. Okay, great. In D.C.? Well, mm, that would mean I'd have to leave tonight. Of course I appreciate it, yes. I, and, and I understand the show must go on. Yeah, deadlines and... Yes, I, I... No problem. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. One more question. What's the last shuttle uh, to the airport tonight? Uh, that will be 8 o'clock, ma'am. Okay, thank you. We 
can do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. <clears throat> Mrs. Anderson, we need to talk. name, okay? I have text messages from Vicky from last year telling us how much she is in love with Garrett. And, and she and Garrett, they babysit my baby all the time just because yes. I'm trying to get used to handling a baby. Yeah. So cute. <gasps> what? I have pictures. I got to show you pictures. Okay, I'm telling you, just look at the picture. Yes, you do. Look at the picture. No, look at how in love they are. Look at it right now. Yeah. When we got here, you completely flipped the script. Who was that person? Me! It's all me! Being impractical, unpredictable, competitive, selfish girl who's still trying, and learning about love. And you expect me to just be patient? Yeah, love is patience, love is kind. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna fight for us. Because, well, I refuse to lose, especially when it's something that I've wanted all my life. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Stay in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Sophie says I have a swing, but there's so much to do. Babe, what? All you need to do 
is be Mrs. Anderson. I am. And dance with me. Come on. After all of the crazy, I still ended up with the wedding of my dreams. It wasn't glamorous or ravishing, but it was perfect because it was real. Camille got her article and her job. I got my man, and my bundle of joy is on the way. Sophie's giving it one more try, and Lauren, <sighs> let's just say everyone was indeed victorious. <sighs> Happily ever afters are very hard to predict, but as Lauren says, a jug feels drop by drop. So I guess that makes us all a happily ever after in progress.